Hi students, welcome to the session on causality and stability of LTA continuous time system. Right, so already we studied this uh, topic with respect to impulse response. A system with the impulse response H of T is said to be causal, right, provided if H of T is equal to 0 for T less than 0. This means impulse response should be right side signal because for t less than 0 that is for a left side the impulse response should be 0 and for t greater than 0 only it should be non-zero so impulse response should be right side signal with respect to h of t for stability the system is said to be stable if it is absolutely integrable impulse response is absolutely integrable this we have seen right now we are going to see causality and stability in terms of system function or transfer function h of s right so let us see what is the condition for causality and stability okay so for stability we find first a system with a transfer function h of s is said to be stable Right, the condition for stability is if and only if the ROC of uh, the system function, system function H of S includes entire J omega axis, includes entire J omega axis then only a LTA continuous time system is said to be stable system. Right? So this is the definition. We will prove that. What is that thing? We know that uh, for stability integral minus infinity to plus infinity h of t dt must be less than infinity. That is the impulse response should be absolutely integrable. Right? So, if we know impulse response, let us find the system function h of s. h of s is a transfer, uh, Laplace transform of h of t. So, I write that uh, controls that. It is a Laplace transform of h of t. Yes, so we find Laplace transform of h of t that is minus infinity to plus infinity h of t e power minus st dt. Let us substitute s is equal to j omega s is equal to j omega this implies h of s is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity h of t e power minus j omega t dt fine so here also h of j omega right okay so problem h of uh, j omega Take a modulus on both sides, h of j omega is equal to modulus h uh, minus infinity to plus infinity h of t e power minus j omega t dt. Modulus of integration is less than or equal to right integral of modulus. So that we know already it's a mathematical concept h of t. I split modulus into two individually so e power minus j omega t dt this e power j modulus e power j omega t is 1 so it is h of t dt this must be absolutely integrable for system to be stable so this condition is obtained or satisfied this is the condition i told already right for a system to be stable the impulse response should be absolutely integrable this is satisfied only when we apply S is equal to j omega. That is, S is equal to j omega satisfies the stability condition. Yes or no? So, from this we are understanding uh, S is equal to j omega satisfies uh, stability condition. Fine. So, this indicates, so we have to check that if you want the system to be stable, we have to check whether 
j omega axis is covered or not we know s plane is represented like sigma j omega right so s is equal to j omega means uh, that is satisfying the stability condition so if your roc covers this s this is what s is equal to j omega i guess sigma is equal to 0 this is s equal to j omega if roc covers s is equal to j omega axis then we can see uh, the system is stable that's what uh, we have started with what is the condition if the r if and only if the roc of the system covers the uh, entire j omega axis then the system is said to be stable fine so s is equal to j omega only that's what we have done s is equal to j omega is nothing but an imaginary axis pure imaginary All right so if your roc can if our roc covers this or includes this s is equal to j omega fully then we can say the system is stable fine this is the condition when we know h of s we can find uh, stability from this criteria right next we have to see what is causality condition right we know already for causality h of t must be 0 for t less than 0 this indicates uh, what should be h of s uh, h of s is we know h of s is a laplace transform of h of t just now only saw Laplace transform h of t that is given by minus infinity plus infinity h of t a power minus s t dt. But we know for causal system t should be only positive value, right? So we start uh, for t less than 0, it is 0. So the limit should go from t is equal to 0. This is right side sequence right side signal right so for right side signal we know as per the laplace transform the roc should be in right of plane this indicates roc should be in right of plane so from this what we understand because it is a right side signal fine h of t is t less than t0 when t is less than 0 this indicates right the roc associated with uh, the system function right roc associated with the system function for a causal system is right of plane okay so that is very very important conclusion and for a rational function if the system function is rational that is if h of s is rational that is ratio of polynomial right so for if our system function is rational the system is said to be causal right when roc being if roc a lies outside the outermost pole outside the outermost pole for if h of s is rational okay so this and all we prove with some example problem okay so that's what we have to understand for causality and stability right i hope you understand the concepts if you have any doubt please ask me in comment section i will clarify thank you